Welcome to Auditory Illusion number one. You're going to need a pair of headphones. I'm going to play you 30 seconds of audio, and as you listen, think carefully about how you would describe the sounds that you're hearing. After the audio's finished, I'll tell you what the seven most common responses are, that is, descriptions of the sound. And at the end, I'll tell you what it was you were actually listening to. So, make sure you've got your headphones on, because here we go. So there we go, that was the audio. How would you describe the pattern that you just heard? The most common description is that there's a high tone in one ear going on and off, and there's a low tone in the other ear going off and then on. Following on from this, right-handed people tend to place the high-pitched tone in their right ear, no matter which way round they've got their headphones. Left-handed people won't have a consensus on which side the high tone appears to be. Now it's worth considering how strange this is. If you're right-handed, try rewinding the video, but turn your headphones around and see if the high-pitched tone stays in your right ear. Some people report that they can only hear one tone switching from ear to ear. Some people say that the pitch changes with time, often that the low tone gets higher and the high tone gets lower as time passes. Still other people say that the tempo changes unpredictably. Other people report that the high and low tones are being produced by different instruments, for example a flute for the high tone and a gong for the low tone. And finally, it's been found that the pattern sounds different to different people at different times of day. So, you may like to, you know, revisit this video at another time of day and listen again. Now maybe you'd like to hear a longer version of the audio track, perhaps because none of those phenomena I described were apparent to you. If so, click this annotation or visit the link in the description below to take you to over three glorious minutes of that pattern of tones. So, what was it you were actually listening to? Well, in the left ear you were hearing a low tone and then a high tone and a low tone and a high tone and in the right ear at the same time you were hearing a high tone then a low tone then a high tone then a low tone written on a musical stave, it would look like this. And how exactly does this illusion work? Well, it's not entirely clear. The illusion was discovered by Diana Deutsch in 1973, and I've put a link to her website in the description below. On her website, you can read more about her studies, there's a list of her published articles, and you can also buy her CD, Musical Illusions and Paradoxes. Tune in next time for another auditory illusion.